hi guys and welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to have some division 20 ranked online gameplay in the bantamweight division using ronda rousey and obviously ronda rousey at one point was considered the goat of women's mma she looked unbeatable for a long time had very impressive performances often got her opponents out in the first round and you could see the hype and the the power she had with the UFC really pushing her. Joe Rogan saying she looks unbeatable and can beat even some of the male athletes at a similar weight. And then obviously had the big, big loss to um, Holly Holm, which Holly just finished her beautifully with her head kick. And then she came back against Amanda Nunes and got absolutely smashed. And obviously Nunes being the women's GOAT and arguably the GOAT of MMA right now. So I decided to use her, I don't use a Ronda often, but when I do, I'm looking to grapple. But she doesn't have the fastest hands, but she's got a lot of power. And as you can see, the opponent I'm playing here is quite a high level. Also, guys, if um, I appreciate the support I've been getting on my videos. If any of you would like to play me, and if we have any good fights, I can put it on my um, channel. Just put your gamer tag below or message message me on um, PSN my gamer tags in the videos and I'm sure we can organize something and if you have any fire recommendations or if there's anything specific you'd like to see uh, please let me know and I'll tr do my best to get that video out so we're coming against uh, Chris Cyborg who is extremely powerful uh, probably gonna have the advantage on the feet just because how good her strikes are uh, power she has a lot of power as we get um, a stun there and in this fight you're going to see that I'm not going to use Ronda how a lot of people use her which is constantly shooting for takedowns and utilizing her grappling obviously she's got elite arm bars very good in the clinch because of her judo and overall grappling wise she's very fun to use but I feel like she's a bit of a hidden gem in terms of stand up and I'm going to try to showcase that in this video and it's not hidden gem in the terms of technique it's just she has so much raw power obviously she's not going to have all the fancy strikes like the side kicks and heel kicks to the head etc but she's got the basics she's got very strong punches and I'm going to look to showcase that in the gameplay here and this fight I'm just going to say off the bat is extremely extremely entertaining it's, it's very end to end we both take up a lot of damage and as you can see, I'm I'm going in and out of the pocket versus a cyborg, and you wouldn't see this too often with someone using a Ronda Rousey, but I just felt confident in my stand-up going into this fight. Normally with a Ronda, you'll see people constantly going for takedowns, often spam takedown, clinch to try the flying armbar, and that's not to get it confused. Obviously, if there's a takedown opportunity or a clinching opportunity, I'm going to look to utilize it, but... In this fight, just off the first round right now, which is normally a feeling out process, I'm feeling very good on the feet. I'm feeling very comfortable. I've lost a bit more stamina than I'd like, and I've taken more body strikes than I'd like to, which is obviously, that's going to wear down my stamina. But we've got the stun on my opponent uh, early in the first round, which was a good sign, and it just shows you how much power she has. I believe the stun was with an uppercut. And as you can see, what I'm looking to do here is I'm breaking the block, and I'm just I'm just touching my opponent. I'm being very very um, in and out of the pocket. I'm trying to maintain distance well because obviously Cyborg's so so powerful. I don't want to get hit by any of those punches. But the glaring weakness right now in um, my approach in this first round is I've taken a lot of body shots. And when you're fighting a fighter who's good using cyborg that's what they're going to look to do and here annoyingly i went for um i actually went for a body shot which is why i backed away from the fence i went for a body shot but it shot for the takedown and we've had a very very good first round um so that's the first round done with and as you can see for the first round my my opponent is a he's a good fighter he knows what he's doing as you see the stats there i believe that was my round now going into the second, I'm just looking to expand upon what I learned in the first and how I performed in the first. I know that my opponent's there to be hit. And right now, obviously, as you can see, straight away, what my opponent's done well here is 
hit me with hit me with these body strikes and they're doing they're gonna add up they're gonna do a lot of damage in the long run and right now if someone was using ronda they'd probably be panicking and looking to take this fight to the ground but i'm confident enough in my stand up and also confident enough in ronda's power to allow me to stay on the feet i look to find that finish like ideally i want to knock out i don't want to finish this fight by submission obviously i've got that tool in the back of my mind that if the fight starts going south and my opponent just starts dominating the exchanges on the feet I can always utilize my grappling now like I say with five round fights you don't want to show your cards too early if you're a very good um, submission artist very good grappler I wouldn't recommend unless you're using someone like Ben Askren or Damian Meyer constantly going for the takedowns in the first round I normally leave it to some takedown attempts in the second then third fourth but fourth and fifth when my opponents are tired is when I'm gonna go for it and as you can see right now I'm doing a good job I'm landing a lot of my opponent I'm doing damage when I land which is important um, obviously no matter what I do until I get Cyborg out of this she's always going to be dangerous just because of the sheer amount of power that Cyborg possesses and also the array of strikes Cyborg can hit you with Cyborg is someone I would like to use on a showcase as you can see here my opponent done a good job of hitting my head then going to the body and then I caught the knee if I didn't catch that knee I would have been in big trouble and right now, especially in Division 20, you're going to fight against people that are using a very toxic matter of clinching knees, elbows, constant um, rear naked chokes and uh, clinch standing submissions. So it was a refreshing when I fought this um, opponent that we were just, you know, we were just having a stand up fight. My opponent wasn't abusing any mechanics and we were just both... Uh, I thought, well, I was having a good time. It was a very enjoyable fight, very end-to-end. -end. As you can see, we get another stun there. I go for the head kick, catch the kick, and I'm starting to do well catching these uh, body kicks. Obviously, that's that's what I said in the first round. I saw a weakness with was I kept getting hit to the body. Now I get hit to the body again. And a lot of people won't take risks in the Division 20. You get a lot of fighters in the Division 20. That's why they abuse these broken mechanics, is because... They don't want to lose all those points, which is understandable because you lose one fight, you lose a lot of points. That's dropping out the potentially top 100, going back to Division 19. And where you can get matched up against someone in Division 17, they could be really good. They could have just started a new account. You've just matched up against them. They smash you, you lose a load of points, and it's very frustrating. So that's the stats for this round. It's a bit more close, closer than the first round. My opponent was starting to get a few things. And this is where I'm, I mean I'm taking risks here. Is that I don't want to do the same things over and over. So I could just look to constantly grapple my opponent. But I just wanted to stand with uh, Ronda. As you see my opponent shows me respect there. So I show respect back. I think my opponent's also on YouTube. But both by his uh, gamer tag. And my opponent's throwing these uh, uppercuts now. Which is something I want to keep, be mindful of. But mainly it's the body strikes that I want to be careful with because I don't know what my opponent's stamina level is quite like but I know mine isn't in the best position ideally I'd want it a bit higher it's sitting around maybe 65% I'd want it ideally at 75 80 more preferably so again we rock my opponent and I meant to go for a body shot which is really annoying and it goes for the takedown so we've landed a takedown now I'm just doing a little bit of damage I'm going to deny my opponent's transitions, and now that I'm on the ground, I'm just going to look to do a bit of damage. I don't mind if my opponent takes it to the feet, as I'm extremely comfortable on the feet right now, so it's a win-win either way. We get my opponent's back, try to drag my opponent down, but my opponent actually does a good job of getting out. I was going to take my opponent down and look for the Ronda Rousey armbar, just because our armbars are so elite. One of the best armbars, I think, maybe I've ever seen within the UFC. She was so proficient with it it was very good to watch now we're back onto the feet as you can see my opponent's been a lot more careful just because of the amount of power ronda has and my opponent's taken so much damage we get our first it may, maybe our first knockdown it's definitely the first knockdown of this round and we're just being so aggressive just in his face now and a lot of people don't expect how powerful ronda is 
she's got so much power in her strikes, it's just her punches aren't as fast, so people get that confused. And we're matched against, obviously, an elite level striker in Cyborg. And Ronda's putting up a good fight here. And although I'm dominating these exchanges, I've got to be very, very careful because it won't take much for Cyborg to get a knockdown or even knock me out. So although I'm throwing, I'm being very aggressive, it's trying to take calculated risks. See my opponent's backing up towards the fence, so I'm unloading a bit more. And you can ba you can tell based off the animations, uh, Cyborg's head health is obviously very low, and when I do rock Cyborg, you can see it takes her a long while to recover, which is always a good sign, because I know it's not going to take too much more to get Cyborg out of there. And I'm doing a better job catching these kicks now, as you can see. Um, my body's getting less tax than it was in the previous rounds and then Cyborg lands a beautiful uppercut going for these head kicks again and this is where you've got to be careful because it's a dog fight and how it's going it's just constant back and forth I'm getting a rock she's getting a rock I'm getting a rock and it's just that constant cycle and this is where you take risks when you uh, fight the way I'm fighting here and I don't advocate it if you take the game very seriously and you obviously want to reach the top 100 and etc but i'm just here to have fun i just wanted to stand with ronda and i feel like you're at your best when you're having fun don't get it twisted there's fights i have where i could i could have won if i fought to my normal ability or tried to grapple especially when i'm doing like cd challenges like when i'm using like ben Askren in division 20 and i'm facing fighters obviously now to deny a lot of things it makes it um very challenging and so we've gone into the fourth now. I know my opponent's taken a tremendous amount of damage. So it's not going to take too much to get my opponent out of there. My opponent stuns me there with the body. And th that's where I'm saying the body shots really, really add up. And right now I was starting to think, should I utilize my grappling? But I opted not to because I was having success on the feet. So there's no reason I can't have more success. And I'm going to look for my opponent to miss a big strike and just capitalize see my opponent's constantly going for these body shots now constantly constantly my opponent then stuns me goes to the body goes to the body again as you can see i'm still rocked i'm not recovering very well now my body health slower than my head health and then we managed to get the drop here we get on top and i believe we get my opponent out of the ground apparently quit so i don't really get many points for it but that's fine so that was me using Ronda Rousey in an entertaining fight back and forth using her stand-up and showcasing her power. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.